I'm here with Troy Campbell, head coach of the Cougar volleyball team. And today, looking back on the weekend road matches at Marion and Lakeland. Uh, Troy, it was obviously a tough weekend for the team. Friday night at Marion, uh, three extremely close sets. Uh, was uh, 22, 22, and 21, I believe. And uh, I guess just one of those uh, one of those matches where maybe the slightest thing can make a big difference. Yeah, no doubt. I think that um, you know if we would have been able to bring it uh, more consistently mentally over the course of the entire match, we could have made up those three or four points that would have made a big difference for us. Um, I thought our serving was really great. But our ball control out of serve receive and our defensive energy was bad. Our offensive energy was wasn't uh, fantastic either. So uh, I think you take all those things into consideration, and uh, I think you you know clearly say that we let one go there. And uh, you know hopefully uh, I was hoping the next night that we were able to come out with some better energy, but it just didn't work out. So. Uh, I think the girls had a really tough emotional weekend and, uh, you know, hopefully we're able to recover that, uh, you know, to get back to what we uh, were doing usually, uh, you know, for this week. So, you know, the girls uh, played hard, but we just didn't uh, have it that night. All right. Now, Troy, in, in Saturday's match against Lakeland, um, you started your usual group of players, uh, but then for uh, sets two and three, you gave... Uh, you gave, I think, just about everybody on the bench, you gave them some uh, playing time. Uh, talk about what you saw from uh, that group. Uh, you know, emotionality. I think that's what we've been missing. Uh, you know, they, they brought a lot of intensity. I think they went out and played extremely hard. And that's, you know, maybe what our first team needs to, to do more of. And I think we've tried to emphasize that. They just haven't taken up the, the challenge to to completely do that over a complete match. Uh, and that's why we've, in the past, uh, lost some close matches is because we weren't able to come through uh, mentally or emotionally. So these kids came out and, and did a really great job. Uh, you know, Courtney Kugath and, and uh, Hannah Johnson did a, a really fabulous job. Uh, Jasmine Crawley was in there. Uh, Beth Johnson had kind of a breakout match. I mean, I've never seen her, I've coached her since she was in fifth or sixth grade, and I've never seen her red face yelling at anybody. And, and she was in there just doing great. And it was so great to see everybody up for that. Even the, the kids that are usual starters on the bench were in support of all of those kids out there. And it was, it was just a really great energy for us. I think at that point, obviously we knew that we were, with our loss on Friday, eliminated from the top six. And uh, now is a great opportunity to make sure that everybody has an, the opportunity to get in there and show something for, you know, going into our off season and, and going into spring season, uh, you know, next year. So, you know, it was, it was a great experience for them. Uh, we did come up short, but, you know, it was, it was nice to see those other kids in there with such great energy. All right. And uh, certainly try with the, uh, with the schedule for this coming week, um, it seems like you'll have uh, uh, more opportunities to uh, take a, uh, a further look at uh, everybody that you just mentioned. Um, four matches this week, uh, including home matches on Wednesday night against Aurora and uh, Saturday night, uh, 6 o'clock, against Alverno. And in between, you have a couple matches on Friday night, uh, Lincoln Christian and Illinois Wesleyan. Um, that's an interesting mix of teams that you're going to play. And uh, just uh, just uh, talk about this, uh, this final week of the season here. You know, it's, uh, you know, I think a lot of winnable matches in those four. I think that uh, we've always concentrated on our side of the net as far as what our problems have been in handling uh, the wins and the losses. I think it's all been on us. It hasn't particularly been in the matches that we've been competitive with or could win. Uh, we were in control of what occurred and it hasn't always been positive. But I think this week, hopefully we can turn it around a little bit. You know, the pressure of being in that top six is off. Yeah, that's fine. but. Now we uh, hopefully can play a little looser with uh, not as much pressure. And, and uh, you know, we're looking forward to having a couple of home games, of course, against Aurora on Wednesday. And then, like you said, uh, 
on Saturday against Alverno, and that'll also be our, our senior day for uh, our one senior, Megan O'Hara. And uh, we're excited about that too, to kind of honor her uh, at the game and, and uh, get her some recognition. But, uh, you know, hopefully the kids just come out and play hard. Uh, like I said, we had a, a tough weekend, but uh, I think getting right back on the court is going to be the key today and tomorrow in practice and then, and then uh, having a nice, comfortable home game against Aurora. And uh, we haven't won a home game yet, so hopefully we're able to do that this week. Uh, we've had really great success on the road. Um, and I think part of it is that pressure to perform in front of your friends and in, in front of uh, the people here. And hopefully uh, our very young team can can come through with just some comfortable play and, and get out there and, and play with your heart and have great energy. And, and I think that that can carry us those few extra points that we've needed in the matches that have been so close for us. So hopefully we're able to see progress in that this week. And, uh, you know, I think we will. All right. Troy, thank you for your time this morning. And uh, best of luck to the Cougars this week. And uh, look, forward to seeing, uh, look forward to seeing a good atmosphere in Geisman Gym on Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks, you.